All right, I've cleaned out the shop and decided to get the car out and so I can do a little video. All right, we start from the front, work to the back. It, it first of all, is dirty. We drive up and down our dirt, dirt driveway, so. so it, all right, we got the front end that's been redone. It's got the reshape of the nose, the rebody. And you got the custom 18 inch wheels. You got the, this is what they call the sail. Uh, that, that's custom with the scoop. Racing edition, custom fuel cover. All right, the back end, you can see the custom has been done, the rebody. It's not like a, a normal Fiero. Got the uh, exhaust in the center, dual exhaust. Sounds real mean. You got the uh, lid, deck lid on the back, scoop. You got the wing, which can come off, but if you take it off, the deck lid will fly up because there's no weight, so that's why I keep the spoiler on. Now, let me open this thing up. Push the button, it opens up from the inside, or you can open from the, from the key. All right, as you can see here, real nice custom red uh, outline motor area even uh, this point been touched up looks good you got the cold air intake that comes down there you got the airflow over there with the oxygen sensor um, exhaust has been heat wrapped to keep the heat down goes through the vent through the deck uh, this runs great v6 summit racing cam Port and polished uh, distributor I placed this year, the timing chain, motor rebuilt 2013. Plenty of room in the trunk, as you can see. All right, it's got the, uh, the cover on the back. Behind that is the few, uh, Pontiac lights, which are rare, expensive. Again, it's dirty, so please dismiss that. Scoops on the side, carbon fiber mirrors, carbon fiber trim, carbon fiber. And again, you can see the front end, uh, which is really nice. You got the red carbon fiber front, the nose section. As you can see, real low to the ground. I mean, real low. The vents through the radiator. Well, come right here. Metal flake paint, you can see the sparkles in it. All right. Again, carbon fiber mirrors. We're going to pop the front trunk open. All right. Every detail on this has been touched up as well. Very clean. I carry my tools with me because this is a daily driver. Everywhere I go, I take it with me. Uh, and I'll use keep it in the garage. Fan, fan clutch I've replaced. Master clutch. Uh, the slave in the back. New tank for the radiator fluid. Sorry, antifreeze. But this runs great. I'm going to put this back down. Alright, again, carbon fiber, very clean inside, leather interior. Alright, now inside, aftermarket temperature gauge, because the factory temperature gauge is Mickey Mouse and I don't like it. Pioneer touchscreen, AM, FM, CD, DVD player, and you got the thumb drive in there, I like to listen to my music. No rips or tears in here, one piece overhead liner. Short stick, which is really nice. All right. Let's start this baby up. There we go. Once it's, once it's warmed up, it'll go uh, it'll run about 900 RPMs. Until it warms up, it, it'll run this a little bit higher. So. Nice purr.
camera, oversized mirror, which is really great because on, on these uh, European body styles, uh, it, you need the rear view camera because it looks good. Not only that, you can see without breaking your neck to turn around. V6 again the summit racing cam uh, She's fast, but I don't drive fast because I got to buy the parts and it is my daily driver so Those uh, low profile tires make it look really nice See the, uh, the metal flake paint. Oh man, that sounds sweet. Been uh, you know fifteen twenty thousand very reliable El Paso and back Texarkana back Houston and back very good little running car all right thanks folks.